go to the object operations panel and click the apply material to selection button and do the same actually no we can't do the same we have to select the, the uh, wall texture off our texture grid first now we can do that application I'll redo that one, it just didn't work that's better the last part that needs to be textured is the base and I've selected for the base a granite just having trouble selecting that now you can see that I'm having trouble with selecting this face I can select the lines okay I can select this face alright and this face but this uh, face isn't working properly because this object seems to be in the way now a uh, technique you can use to get rid of that object just for the time being and we used it before is to right click on it and then a dialog comes up with um, a visible and we can just click that and it didn't delete it or anything it just just turns it off the <coughs> turns it off from the scene view and we can select that face no problem now now I don't now that I have it like that I'll, I'm not going to use it that way I'm going to texture this a different way just to show you a different example we'll use a preset texture which is uh, um, granite I suppose you'd say and click on the crop texture button and the familiar box pops up select the section of that texture that you want to use click OK and over here going to select the paintbrush tool which can be used to apply textures to faces individually or individual polygons and you'll, you'll probably hear that polygons used or faces they actually mean the same thing but sometimes people say face can be one side of an object made up of multiple polygons but technically it's the same thing but here all I have to do is click on that face and bang the texture is applied and I'll do that for the others notice how the texture is squashed into whatever face you apply it to you can see on this large surface the texture is larger on this uh, condensed surface the texture gets condensed as well and we have a complete base to get everything to reappear we just have to go up here and click this button and everything reappears and our outhouse is complete and there's our completed outhouse looks uh, doesn't look very good at all and it's probably not supposed to be considering the small amount of time we spent on it the main thing is that you've learnt to manipulate some objects and you've learnt to apply some textures and when we look at the next part of the tutorial we'll um, get into some fairly technical parts of modeling and we'll end up with a little diesel locomotive that you can export into MSTS yourself and it's not the fact that you make a locomotive it's the uh, the fact that you'll be able to learn to make your own however you like them not the same way as this and the same goes for this outhouse have a play around now with some plans of 
your own. You might want to change the size of the outhouse, you might not like the textures. Making your own texture is easy as long as it's a square and preferably a, a JPEG or a Targa file, TGA, even a bitmap 